Here at home, a $30 million development could bring new life to some of Over the Rhine's oldest brewery buildings. As I-Team reporter Dan Monk explains, it's the latest in a long line of restoration projects for serial entrepreneur John Richardson. I've done dumber things. I, I don't know if I can remember one at the moment. John Richardson bought a fixer-upper in the Mohawk section of Over the Rhine. I thought it lent itself to quite the story. And, you know, the story is always the fun part. This building nearly burned to the ground in a 2019 arson fire. Richardson won't give up on its 150 years of brewing history. It's an incredibly strong building. I think the building's been through a lot of uh, drama and hardship, but it's kind of not unlike myself, still standing. And uh, so mostly I see potential. Richardson is chairman of Sugar Creek, a billion-dollar food processing company that's best known for bacon, not beer. But that didn't keep him from buying these dormant breweries and a company that owns some of Cincinnati's most iconic beer brands. Moreline and Little Kings and Huda Pole and uh, Burger. Richardson's son, Michael, wasn't surprised by the move. I always have told Dad um, to do what makes him happy and chases dreams and he does that, I think it's fantastic. No day is the same uh, in our business. That's something to look forward to. I want to give you an idea how these lagering tunnels worked. All the beer would have been stored in barrels down here, two floors underground, and then rolled along these metal rail lines to the loading dock. Richardson sees potential for a tavern in these musty tunnels and event spaces with city views above. My father um, has always been a restorer of things. Richardson has restored cars, boats, homes, and commercial buildings, but this is his first brewery. It'll turn your hair white, but you know, you just, you, you don't give up. The goal is to build a $50 million business here, a destination for those who love beer, food, and history. It's the thrill of taking something that has been discarded or basically thrown away or overlooked and bringing it back, and particularly if there's a story attached to it that's worth being told. It's incredibly uh, rewarding. In Over the Rhine, Dan Monk, WCPO9, IT.